everybody, it's Miss Branch here, the art teacher with Enrichment City and the Smartest Art Program. So, what we're going to do today is take two of these recycled envelopes that your parents give with the junk mail and um, they're going to just throw away. And we're going to turn it into an alligator that can open and close his mouth. So, let's get started. First thing, let's go ahead and turn this down here. You're going to need to do is take the envelopes apart. So, of course you need your scissors. You're going to need some markers, your glue, or crayons if you don't have markers. And what you're going to do is cut the edges on both sides. And open it up. And then I'm going to cut on the lines where it was folded to separate the pieces. Alright, that's one. And two. Now, with this part, we don't need this right here with the little window, so I'm going to flip it over so I can see where to cut it. And I'm going to cut this part off. And you know what? We could probably make something with this later. So I'm going to put this in my scrap pile for another project for another day. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing again with this one. Again, cut the sides. Now you could just pull it open, but I don't want to take the chance of ripping the sides. Because sometimes the glue is a real, little strong and won't give as easily. And again, separate the bottom from the top. Take this little flap part off. And again, save this part for another project. So I'm going to flip it over so I can see where the plastic and cut off. And then I can just put this off to the side with my other project. So the first part we're going to start with is the body. So here we're going to make a big triangle out of one of these rectangle pieces. Now you can fold it in half and we can make one cut. So I just folded that in half and I'm going to cut one from one corner all the way across and make sure you cut on the open side because if you cut the folded side you're going to end up with two pieces which you'll have to tape or glue back together. So I'm just going to cut all the way up and matter of fact I'm just going to cut that little piece off right there. And when I open it up, I have my alligator body and tail. I can put that off to the side. And I'm going to take the other big part. And this one's going to become the head and the mouth. So I'm going to fold it in half this way. Now this time I'm going to make two cuts. Now I'm going to make the head a triangle shape, but I'm going to curve it a little bit. So again, cutting from the folded part down here, I'm going to come up and curve. And I'll just flip it and do the same thing again. And now I have my alligator's mouth. Now I'm going to open up the... Oh, you know what? This is kind of shaped like a real eye. Hmm. Oh, maybe another pro... Oh, I could just keep up with an idea for another project that will make an eye shape. All right, so everybody, I'll think about that in pro later. Right now, we're not going to make an albino alligator, you know, um, all white one. Um that they have that sometimes happens in nature but what we're going to do is color these and I'm going to show you a quick way to color up the marker you want to use the wide side of your marker not the point and first thing you're going to do and move this out the way I'm going to just trace the edges now I'm left-handed so I usually go from the left side and what you can do is always um, turn your paper to make it easy for you so now that I have filled that in now I could the edges. Now I'm just going to come back and forth, make long lines. Now, if I miss some spots, I can just go over it and make it nice and neat. Just go up and down, up and down, up and down. Now I'm getting a little line right here because of where the um, other part of the envelope was glued to it and I'll show you how to fix that in a moment finish going up and if you miss any spots just go back over with a few more lines now right here 
where it did not connect. Now, actually, I don't have to worry about it too much because I actually am going to glue the head on there. But if you want, just trace it so that you fill in the color. Alright, so now I need to do the head. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to trace all the edges. Now, I unfolded it because I'm going to color the top and the bottom of the head at the same time. And make it a quicker job. Again, trace your edges first. That way, when you go in and out, you won't um, um, leave any spaces. And I'm just going to go back and forth and up and down. If you miss any spots, just go back over it. Back and forth or up and down. Whichever way makes it easy for you. And remember, turn the paper so that it's easy for you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and flip over the head and go ahead and give my alligator a tongue. And color in the the dark area down its throat like you see in cartoons. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my red. And whatever side I decide is going to be the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and draw an arch or like a U shape. Just trace it on the inside. And go ahead and up and down with the color. Again, using the wide side of the marker. And I'm going to do the same thing up top for the down the throat part like you see in cartoons. And again, up and down. And you know what? I'm going to draw a line down the middle of the tongue. So it really looks cartoonish. Alright, so now I'm going to put this off to the side for a moment. And we're going to make the eyes and the legs by taking one of the small parts of the top of the envelope that we cut. So I'm going to fold this in half because I need two eyes and I need four legs. But I can cut them all at the same time. So now, first things first is with the eyes. To make the eyes, you're going to make an arch or like an upside down U. Just come up and come back down. So just make an arch so when I cut this out, I have two of the same shape. Kind of looks like I'm drawing the inside of my thumb. So you can make it a thumb shape too. Alright, so now for the legs. Now this part's a little tricky. I like to think of the two letters. A letter Y and a letter W for making um, clawed feet. First of all, I'm going to take a Y and I'm going to split it in half. So here's my Y and I split the Y in half. So I'm just going to make one half of a Y like that. And then I'm going to make another half of a Y like that. So I have my Y that's split a half. And then on the inside at the top, I'm going to make a W. And there I made the claws the toes. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to take a Y and split it in half and take another half of the Y and split it in half and then at the top make a W and there I have my toes for my alligator or clawed feet. So now I'm going to cut them out. So let's see. I'll cut this part out first. And then I'm going to cut around. Now, on this one, it didn't ma doesn't matter whether you cut, um, whether you put it on the open side or the, or, or the closed side. Because you're going to need two pieces. So, there are my eyes. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and cut this apart so, while I cut, just to make it easier. And now I have two of my legs. They're still a little bit attached. I'm going to go ahead and cut those apart. So there's two of my legs. And then again, cut out the last one. And again, 
cut right across. There we go. So now I have my legs. Let me get all my extra scraps and I'll put them in my scrap bin over here that I can use again later. And I need to color them. So pretty much using the green again for my legs, I'm just going to go up one, one side, and on the other side, so far, up, so far, and then down the middle. And any spots that I missed, I can go back and get those. And again, one side, the middle, other side. Two legs. Three legs. And four legs. Now for my eyes. Now, I kind of, um, when I cut it, I probably should have checked because it had the part where you mail this back in. But that's alright, I can still use that part. And my other eye. But before I make the dots for my eyes, I'm going to fold it a little bit, make a little lip, because my eyes are going to stand up. And by making that fold, that's what I'm going to glue down. So I wanted to make sure that I don't draw the eyeballs right where an alligator's, um, right where I'm going to make the fold. Sorry about that, everyone. Now, alligators have those slits, and sometimes their eyes are yellow looking. So I'm going to go ahead and make a yellow pupil. And then I'm going to use, I mean, a yellow iris. This is the iris part. Sorry about that, everyone. Then I'm going to make alligator. Now, I could just do cartoon. You could do the cutesy ones with all the highlights, all the ones you see in other drawings. But I decided to kind of make it look a little more realistic. So now I have my alligator eyes. I have my body parts. And I have my body. Now, the next step, I can fold this body to make it a little crinkly, like I did on this one. It kind of worked, but it really, uh, you can't see it too much. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that step on this one, because um, it didn't work out like I thought it would, to make it look like a bumpy alligator skin to give it some texture. Um, you can't really see it that much. So, pretty much, let's go ahead and flip over. And let's glue our legs on. And of course, with our glue, my rule is not a lot. Just a dot. A dab of glue will do. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four dots where my legs are going to be. And I can spread that dot out a little bit. And I think I'll put these skinnier legs at the front. And the bigger leg at the back. Uh, it just happened how the way I cut them. Um, it all depends. Your legs will probably all be more close to the same size. So now I have my legs done. Now right here at the top, I'm going to go ahead and glue a couple of dots. One, two, three, four, five. So I put five dots of glue right there at the edge. And then I'm going to take this part of the head, the folded part, and I'm going to stick that on and rub a little bit. And it sticks. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some, put my eyes on, put a little dot of glue and rub that down. Here's one eye. And then rub, put a, I still had some glue on my finger so I'm just using that glue. I put my other eye on. And my alligator is almost done because he doesn't have any what? He doesn't have any teeth. So I got him go and make him some teeth. So. That little flap that we cut off in the beginning, we're going to use this to make teeth. And what we're going to do is just cut triangles. And it's already kind of have a slant in it, so I can just cut triangle one. And just keep cutting triangles. Just putting my scissors diagonal. Just keep cutting, just keep cutting, just keep cutting. And the cool thing is, if you run out of teeth, you have the other flap that you can use to make your alligator teeth. I'm going to cut right there. So now, with your teeth, 
you're going to fold each one that you're going to glue down. Make a little lip like we just made for um, the eyes. So now I'm going to open up. And you know what? I'm going to put a few dots down. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'll do the bottom part, then I'll do the top. So fold, glue on, fold, put it on. Fold a piece of paper, put it on the mouth, do do, put it in the mouth, do 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 do, and I keep folding my paper, do 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 do, until I make all my teeth. Now, if you run out of space or or you don't have enough glue, always put a few more dots back down. Let's see. And there's the bottom. Mm. Alright, so I got the bottom part. Now I need to do the top. And again, I'm going to put a few dots. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm not sure if I even have ten more. But we will find out. So fold, rub it on the glue. Boom. Fold. Put it on the glue. Fold. Put it on the glue. Fold. Put it on the glue. Oh, wow, I had just enough and one left over. So, everybody, my alligator has nice alligator teeth. It has yellow alligator eyes. It has tiny little alligator feet. And I have a cool recycled art piece that's functional because you can now play with your art. Yay! Anyway, everyone, I will see you next time for the smartest art program through Enrichment City. See you later. Bye.